How's it going guys? I am back, CES 2023. And surprisingly, there's not much drone uh, presence here like we've had in the past. Slowly, uh, less and less drone booths but Autel Robotics is here again for CES. Now they do have a couple new products that they are showcasing, they are debuting here at CES. I'm gonna have once again, John McBride talk about all of the new gear and also give you a quick rundown of the new one, the Evo Max 4T, as well as talking about their new mesh network. And one cool thing, hot swappable single battery, which I haven't seen on drones. So let me pass it over to John, give you guys a quick rundown. Hey, it's John McBride from Auto Robotics. I'm currently the training manager and technology guy for the company. Uh, based out of Utah, that's where I live, but the main uh, uh, headquarters is in Bothwell, Washington. So we have arrived here at CES 2023, and we're gonna be talking a little bit about the new stuff in the booth. I have a couple of things to talk about right now, but we've got a lot going on. We've got new stuff for Dragonfish, new stuff for uh, drone stuff, so we'll talk about that. Really appreciate it again. Let's get through it. On the Evo Max, so one of our brand new ones, we have the Evo Max, very much same form factor as the Evos that we are. Uh, everybody has seemed to love over the last uh, couple of years here. And the Max has a couple of brand new, brand new things that are gonna be integrated and as well, we listened to the market, we made something that people wanted, a very close relationship to some of the competitive ideas out there, but I think when we focus it all, put it all together here, I think we're gonna have a couple of good winners. So one of the things to remember, still small form factor, foldable props, we have beacon on top, we have obstacle avoidance, and instead of standard uh, regular cameras that we're using, we're using a fisheye lens. This uh, allows us to see full 360 all the way around. One other challenge to a lot of the other competitors is when you only use RGB cameras to do this, we end up having a difficulty in dark spaces if it's not lit up. We have a small wave radar that actually transmits out that also helps with that obstacle avoidance as well. Talking a little bit about the payload. So up on the payload, we have a thermal camera. We have an optical zoom camera, laser range finder, and a wide camera. We call this payload with the combo, the 4T, so the Max 4T, not related to Max, the general manager of Autel Robotics, but it was a great name that we decided to choose. One of the other things about the new drone here is that we do have battery, same thing as before, but we are able to hot swap on a single one battery. So the, ba the uh, aircraft will stay powered while changing that battery out. It's a major, major big thing because most hot swappable uh, applications require two batteries. Um, time for this, about 15 to 18 seconds to do a hot swap. So you just wanna be careful with that, but no rush, no big deal. But it's one of the, again, major innovations that Autel has come up with, be able to do hot swapping on a single battery load. Uh, on the bottom, we have our same typical sensors. We've got our light sensor on the bottom to be able to see the ground when we're landing. We have obstacle avoidance sensors on the bottom. And then up on the top, we're going to have our accessory capability. So RTK, your spotlight. One of the other cool things that we're announcing this year is the mobile awareness kit. So what this means is that I have a mesh network. Mesh network uh, is implied that we think of swarm flying, but that's not exactly what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the transmission capability between multiple drones on ground people. So for an example, we have a wildfire going, we have drones up in the air, staying and not hitting things, communicating back. If we have lost LTE, no 4G, we have a way to still get that information back to our guys. The big one is again, communication path is happening between all drones, ground units, as well as remotes. So everybody can equally one-to-one -one have control of a drone, but the idea is to have the, the ability to com communicate. So we're really excited about this new product. Of course, we have a lot of other products coming between our Dragonfish stuff. So we have the Dragonfish Nest, that will be a great one. We have the Nest itself. Last year at CES, we talked about the Nest, uh, being able to have a drone come in, land the concept, drone in the box concept. But we were, uh, that, that unit was created by a third party. So this year we've announced one that we have made ourselves, definitely have a bit more control in the engineering and making, so make sure you take a look at the Nest. But again, Dragonfish Nest, it's just right here behind me, big old box, big space, takes up a lot of area, uh, but at the same time, this allows us to go upwards of 100 kilometers 
to, to be able to fly from box to box if needed. So border patrol, thinking high powered voltage line inspection, things like that. So uh, lots of fun stuff coming out this CES and stay, thank you again for having us, listening to us and being on Flight Path, baby.